This is Africa with DJ Edu. Diamond Platinums, the giant from Tanzania. And this is Africa with DJ Edu. We, 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 we did on top BBC World Service. Bienvenue au cœur de la musique africaine. Beautiful. TIA, the hottest sounds from the motherland. Africa is lit. <laughs> Greetings, people. Prepare for Superstar Edition. My guest is the biggest artist from East Africa at the moment. He's probably the most successful ever from Tanzania. And in my opinion, on stage, he cannot perform any other African musician with these amazing dance moves. He's also pretty wealthy. He's just taken delivery of a brand new Rolls Royce car. Of course, I'm talking about the one, the only Diamond Platinums. We spoke when he just arrived home from the BETs, the Black Entertainment TV Awards in the USA. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Africa from the BBC. And today we have not just a human being, he's also a lion. <laughs> he goes by the name of Simba. It is Diamond Platinums. They call him the Michael Jackson of Africa. He's one of the few who's singing and dancing at the same time. That's a skill. He's one of the hardest working artists I know, the business acumen, pushing the boundaries, collaborations from all across the world, his fashion sense. I can go on forever and ever, but you know, let me stop there. It is Diamond Platinums, bro. Let's give my brother. Mambo. <laughs> Everything's under control. Talk to me about your brand new baby, this blue baby. <laughs> I mean. Now the rose, yeah, about the new Kalina Rose Rose 2021. It's been my dream car, like, since I always wanted to buy a Rolls Royce. Like, Ghost was my favorite, but then I felt like if I'm going to buy a Ghost, mm -hmm. why well, there's a new Rolls Royce calling on, so I don't think if it will make sense. So I said, let me, you know what, let me go for the new one. And I bought it, like, I don't know, two months back. I bought it in Dubai, so it was difficult for me, like, to have it in Tanzania, you know. It has to go through procedures after that, shipping it. So luckily the time that I go back to Tanzania, that was the same time my car like, got in Tanzania. So it was like coincidence, but in a very perfect way. So describe the car to me, you know, the interior, the exterior. It's a blue color with the, I think, orange interior. I was driving it like yesterday, like everywhere. I was driving it, people went crazy, like staring at the car. I was like, yo, because we don't have much of them in Tanzania. And when it comes to the Kalinan, it's the first one in here. So when it comes out, it was like nose everywhere. <laughs> yeah, man. And I see it's almost like, you know, when somebody's driving a big car, yeah. you know, where somebody else would be like, they're showing off. But with you, it's almost like you're celebrating your success with yes. the people around you. And to me, it's not just my car. It's our car. Mm -hmm. We have uh, supported me. We've been supporting me. Mm -hmm. Let's celebrate our achievement. Yeah. Speaking of celebration, mm -hmm. you just came back from the BETs in America. One of the artists yes. who was nominated, obviously, there was Burna, there was Whiskey, yes. and of course, repping yes. East Africa, Diamond Platinums. Yes. And you came to slay and represent in your Maasai outfit. I know Burna might have won, but I'm so I'm sure you stole the show. How did you come up, you know, decide? I know your outfits are always very well chosen. How did you decide to go in a Maasai outfit? I know you're not yes. Maasai. <laughs> Yeah, so when, when I was about to go there, I was thinking like, so what should I dress? So I was talking to my stylist, talking to my management, like, what am I going to be wearing? And then I said like, you know what, if you go there with Gucci, you Louis Vuitton, so whatever, they've already got those things. So it's like, you never stand out. You need to bring something that nobody has it. So in what you have is your culture. When you talk about Maasai, you talk about the tribe from East Africa. I was like, you know, I'm not a Maasai, but since I'm from East Africa, then when I'm outside, I can be a Maasai as well. So I said, you know what, let me go with this outfit because I know nobody will have it. And since the time I came from the hotel, like everybody went crazy with that. Like, you all have it. It was that way. But you know what? He brought something different from where he came from. That's what I felt. Like. You are listening to the big man, Simba. Diamond Platinums on This Is Africa with DJ Edu. And is that what you do when you're putting out your music, your music videos, because you always want to stand out? For sure. When you drop something like 
no matter what music you can do but you need to put some of your elements so that they can still be you in that they can still be some swahili nation in it <laughs> swahili nation of course hey. yeah. <laughs> i know collaborations are yeah. what has you know some of the things that really made you become the big artist that you are for sure i saw you in la and you were speaking to buster right yes. so you were speaking to snoop he was giving yes. you some gems uh, swiss beats yeah are we looking forward to some of that energy coming through the records and the music sure i went to america not only for bt but the main reason was to finalize my album and executive producer of my albums from America. So we was recording with different artists from America. Of course, no matter how much I wanted to be the global album, but it's not going to take my Swahili Nation test out of me. You're going to hear Damo Platinums, but you're going to hear No Me as well. I'm trying to touch different zones like Jamaica, French side, America, Africa, Latin, you like you know, I don't know. Sometimes every artist think different, but to me, I feel like when you do album, you need to touch every angle so that your album can be everywhere in the world. That's where you can make your music become more bigger. And in the album, I'm gonna have these artists that nobody will expect me to have it. known, but not that known artist. Beautiful. To me, I believe in working together. So apart from recording and everything, but I went there so that I can be connected with them. And I met with different people. Like we're just talking and exchanging uh, the culture and whatever that we are doing in here and see how can we empower our African music. But per se, not only African music, but I can say music from this zone, from the east of Africa. I want to create a path. I want to create something that even if I'm not going to be there tomorrow, the next generation can be easy for them to get there so you're always thinking about your legacy and where you're from and where you're going yes for sure because i can tell you something i believe i'm here today not because of me but we had a lot of good artists in tanzania who created the path for us so now we're trying to do the same thing for the next generation and even i can tell you the reason why even i bought the rose was the kalinan one I wanted to prove like to our, my fellow youth that everything is possible. Let's not give up. Let's not think like we can't do it. If you believe in it, if you work so hard, if you pray so hard, everything is possible. So do not let anybody tell you that you can't do it. It does not make sense. Everything is possible. But what you need to do, you need to focus. You need to be humble. You need to stay cool with everybody. Then the rest will be easy for you. And I know you're a very energetic performer and you like to give a show. I remember you performed in London and this crowd didn't know your songs but when you left the O2 Indigo that day everyone was looking for who is this diamond. Uh, first of all, you know most of my songs are singing Swahili. So to me uh, like not everybody can speak Swahili so I believe like dance moves can be the easiest way of me talking to my fan. I say you know what? I need to do proper show I need to perform I need to do the moves I believe from there everybody will know me like everybody wherever who's in the room will go search for my music and that's what really happened I tried my level best to deliver the best then this time inshallah if not this year maybe next year we're gonna have our biggest concert in London that, that would be amazing and I'll be front and center doing the moves <laughs> TIA this is Africa it's about time Diamond Platinum's best mover in the business more from him in just a bit Special 10 in 10 for you this week in honor of our guest on This is Africa I give you 10 of the biggest joints from Diamond Platinum's His newest song embracing that new my piano sound from South Africa is called Yo the viral challenge is going absolutely crazy <laughs> i
programs on This Is Africa from the BBC. So let's look forward, yeah? The money's in the bank. So what are we doing? Are we flying to the moon or are we still fighting for causes that we believe in? <laughs> are we Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> None of them. <laughs>